Ever wondered what NITI IOG is and why it was formed? Let's shed some light on this. NITI IOG, or the National Institution for Transforming India, came into existence on January 1, 2015. This body was formed as a successor to the Planning Commission, an entity that had been in place since 1950. Now you might ask, why the need for a new planning body? Well, change is the only constant, isn't it? In a rapidly evolving India, there was a need to shift from a one-size-fits-all approach to a more tailored, flexible strategy. A strategy that would foster cooperative federalism, provide a platform for healthy competition among states, and most importantly, drive India's economic policy in the 21st century. Hence, the birth of NITI AYOG. So that's the start of the NITI AYOG journey, but what does it do exactly? Stay tuned to find out. January 1, 2015, marks a significant change in India's economic planning landscape. On this day, the Indian government replaced the Planning Commission, an institution that had been in place for over six decades, with the National Institution for Transforming India, or NITI Ayog. The journey towards this change began in August 2014, when Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced his intent to create a new institution that would foster cooperative federalism, provide a platform for strategic discussions, and address the country's socio-economic challenges. What followed was a series of consultations with eminent economists, sectoral experts and stakeholders from across the country. These discussions culminated in the formation of NITI AYOG, officially announced on January 1, 2015. This marked a new era in India's economic planning, moving away from a top-down approach to a more inclusive and interactive model. With its formation, NITI AYOG brought a new approach to economic planning in India. NITI AYOG isn't just a fancy name, it's a body with critical functions and responsibilities. You see, the National Institution for Transforming India, or NITI AYOG, as it's more commonly known, is a policy think tank of the Indian government. It plays a vital role in shaping the direction of the country's growth and development. NITI AYOG has a broad mandate that spans both the economic and social sectors. It's tasked with the responsibility of fostering cooperative federalism, a concept that promotes cooperation between the central government and the states. This isn't just about sharing resources, it's about sharing ideas, perspectives, and best practices. It's about working together to create policies that benefit every corner of our diverse nation. The role of NITI AYOG extends far beyond mere policy recommendations. It is also responsible for creating a shared vision of national development priorities, sectors and strategies, with the active involvement of states in light of national objectives. It also designs strategic and long-term policy and program frameworks and initiatives, and monitors their progress and efficacy. In terms of function, the NITI AYOG is a facilitator and an enabler. It creates a platform for mutual learning and offers a space where states can learn from each other. It brings states together to collaborate, to share their successes, their challenges, and their approaches to overcoming those challenges. It's about encouraging a culture of peer learning and sharing. Moreover, NETI AAYOG is also a catalyst for change. It stimulates innovations by identifying and spreading best practices from within India and from other nations. It's not just about learning and sharing, but also about inspiring and pushing boundaries. It is a body that encourages transformation and drives the nation towards progress. In essence, the NITA YOG is the government's way of ensuring that the nation's growth is inclusive, sustainable, and forward-looking. It's about making sure that India's development is a collective effort, not just the work of a few. That's a snapshot of what NITI AYOG does, but who are the people behind it? A team is only as strong as its members, and NET AYOG is no exception. At the helm of this important institution is the Prime Minister of India, who serves as the ex officio chairperson. With their broad vision and leadership, they guide the policy-making body of NITI AYOG, setting the tone for the nation's development strategy. The Governing Council, which includes the Chief Ministers of all states and union territories, 
plays a pivotal role as well. By incorporating the regional perspectives into the national policy framework, they ensure the democratic essence of the AYOG. Next, we have the vice chairperson, appointed by the prime minister. This individual brings a wealth of expertise and knowledge to the table, assisting in the formulation of policies and plans. Then there are the full-time members. These are domain experts from various fields like economics, science, technology, and social issues. They contribute their specialized knowledge to the multidimensional tasks of the IOG. Part-time members, usually eminent personalities from academia or industry, are also part of this dynamic team. They bring a fresh perspective and innovative approaches to the IOG's initiatives. Special invitees, often the union ministers for key portfolios such as finance, agriculture and home affairs, are also included. Their presence ensures that the IOG's plans are in sync with the policies of the central government. Last but not least, we have the Chief Executive Officer, or CEO, who is appointed by the Prime Minister for a fixed tenure. The CEO ensures the smooth functioning of the IOG, and oversees the implementation of its plans and policies. The structure of NITI IOG is designed to be inclusive and comprehensive making sure that decisions are made with the best interests of the nation in mind. It's this collaborative approach that sets the stage for a more integrated and efficient policy-making process. These are the people driving the vision of NITI IOG, but what sets it apart from its predecessor, the Planning Commission? Change is often for the better, and the shift from the Planning Commission to NITI IOG is a testament to this. Imagine the Planning Commission as a traditional top-down approach to economic planning. The government played the role of a central authority, deciding the course of the economy and allocating resources. While this centralized approach had its merits, it was often criticized for being somewhat detached from ground realities and regional disparities. Enter Aniti Ayog, a breath of fresh air, introducing a bottom-up approach. It emphasizes cooperative federalism, encouraging active participation from states and union territories in shaping the nation's economic strategy. Unlike the Planning Commission, which was more directive, NITI IOG is facilitative, providing a platform for consensus building and cooperative decision-making. The Planning Commission was primarily a plan-formulating body, whereas NITI IOG is a think tank, it not only formulates strategic plans, but also provides policy recommendations, monitors their implementation, and evaluates their outcomes. The core principles of the two bodies also differ. The Planning Commission was driven by the idea of a planned economy, while NITI IOG embraces the concept of a market economy, emphasizing competitive and cooperative federalism, and focusing on sustainable development. NITI IOG, thus, marked a paradigm shift in India's approach to economic planning. It balances the need for national cohesion with the requirement for regional diversity, fostering a more collaborative and inclusive approach to economic development. So, that's the story of NITI IOG in a nutshell. We've explored its birth, its mission, its key players, and how it stands apart from its predecessor, the Planning Commission. By fostering cooperative federalism and encouraging active participation of Indian states, NITI IOG is redefining the country's growth trajectory. It's not just a new organization, it's a new way of thinking, a new approach to development. NITI IOG, a new engine for a new India, driving the nation towards a more inclusive and sustainable growth.